What's up, Texas wrestling fans? This is Jay Williams, your hashtag certified mark, coming to you with the MPX Mainline. With me, of course, is the guy from the other side, part of the front row crew, Kyle Smith. And man, tonight at Blind Date, MPX's Blind Date, it was it was a lot of fun. It was really good, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. I mean, house. it's a lot of fun, and it's one of those things, blind dates usually aren't that fun. I don't know if you've been on many of them, but uh, they, they go hand in hand. Some are good, some are bad. I do a little bit better on, you know, choosing, picking yeah. and choosing. But hey, just like tonight, some are good or some are bad, that's oh, what we had tonight. We had some really great matchups and some matchups that, uh, well, they were a little funny. There were some pairings that you were like, huh? And then there were some pairings you are like, oh, this fits perfectly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And speaking of uh, ones that make you go, huh? Let's talk about the first match tonight, when which we had Libby Loca and Phoebe going up against each other and their blind dates for Libby. She got Dimitri Alexandrov, the bear, the bear fighter. fighter. A really great choice yeah. until you realize that Phoebe's partner was the Jersey Jackass BC. Ooh. And they have a history. They're, oh, they've absolutely. been a tag team. They've been in war before. Mm -hmm. It was one of those things where, yeah, that was one of the first things. You're like, huh? And then we learned that right off tonight, strange bedfellows are going to happen. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? Strange may be right, but it worked out. Hey, That's Livy. I mean, both of those teams, actually. Phoebe and BC worked well together. Dimitri and Livy worked well together. But Dimitri and Livy pulled it out. Oh, absolutely. Dimitri and, Dimitri and Livy got the win. Yep. And then we had actually a one-on-one -on -one match in which we saw the debut of a guy I actually know about and I think is really, really good taking on, you know, someone we know really, really well. Uh, uh, in which, let's be honest. He took on an MPX legend tonight. Absolutely. Christian the Jock Mox took on the greatest human being alive, Stephen Kirby, one-on-one. -on -one. And I got to say, going up against a veteran like Kirby, Mox really held his own. I'll be honest, Mox being his debut, being the first time I've seen him, not too bad. I mean, he did. He took it to Kirby. As someone who, a former high school athlete himself, mm -hmm. liked seeing that, liked seeing him keep that jock mentality, liked seeing him keep the football in him. Oh, it was great. But he was going against the veteran. He was going against Stephen absolutely. Kirby. This is Kirby's house. Kirby's a legend. Mm -hmm. Kirby's done everything. He's held every title here in MPX. But credits where credit is due. Once Mox gets there, once he gets a little bit more training, once he gets a couple more matches under him, that guy's going to be a scary dude. Oh, he he's is. he's going to be a force to reckon with. And I'm just I can't wait to see it. Uh, unfortunately, Mox wasn't able to pull it out. Nope. Kirby took the win, and it's one of those things. Look. I'm a big guy. I like big guys. Maybe not do moonsaults like that. Maybe not. Uh, you're going out there and you're doing a move that 150 pound, 175, those type of guys can do those type of moves and do them successfully. I think that kind of cost him the night. I mean, that one, yeah, you know. That very well could have been more. Right after that, he missed it. Kirby capitalized. Match over. But, but was, that's a learning lesson for Mox. But it was also big enough that people took notice of him and that counts yep, for a lot. Sure does. All right. The third match we had Alabama going up against Baby D. And this one, we saw another debut and a return. We saw a return. We saw one of the biggest returns in MPX history. Alabama we, got teamed up with El Sapo. No, 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 no. Return. The greatest MPX in Lucha, greatest luchador in MPX history, El Sapo returned. I, uh, yeah, true, true, true. But I guess, you know, when you're the only one, it, you know, levels hey, the- Great is great. Doesn't matter if you're the only one. Great true. is great. True. I just, I feel bad he got with Alabama. That, that's one of the teams that were like, oh, poor El Sapo. Eh, well, you know, Ali was able to hold her own for a while. But the thing is, the real surprise here was the fact that we saw the debut. Baby D's partner was none other than the security guard, our favorite speed bump, Taylor Blackburn. It's the guy who hands me the wristband. I mean, I was shocked. He checked his I bags mean, at the door. I know. And this is, and he goes out there and he, I give it to him. He wasn't scared at all. He jumped no. right in there. He told Baby D. He told Baby D right off. I got this. He was surprised, and, but he uh, took it in stride. He did. And he went all out for it. Yep. He was absolutely amazing in the ring. It was great to see him. It was. And he, he was really good. And it's one of those things, though, as good as he was, though, Thank God Baby D was his partner. Because, oh, I mean, Baby D saved him a couple of times. Oh, yeah. And truly, you know, towards the end, we got to see that Baby D really does know how to pick up guys. Yep. As uh, she planted Ali and... Uh, literally picked up her opponent, her partner, literally picked up a guy, 
and pinned Alabama with them. Oh, One yeah. of the greatest things it ever. Was, it was, it was great. And then, speaking of uh, weird matches, gotta say, the next match we had Reza Clark and Dallin Hyde also making his debut, coming in, and they took, they went up, up against each other. And their partners were uh, interesting choices, I gotta say. Very interesting. Reza Clark got Richter 5 of Team Action, whereas That's... Dallin got the one in a million, <laughs> Tatum Manning. And I mean, let's be honest, Reza and Richter, that actually is a team that could work. Like, that team didn't seem that bad. Yeah. Now, Tatum and Dallin, I mean, this is my first time seeing Mr. Hyde. Mm -hmm. Big dude. Oh, absolutely. Big athletic dude. And not afraid to let his freak flag fly. Nope, not at all. That's, I mean, I don't know if Tatum knew how to handle that. I think that was part of the chemistry problem with that. Yeah. Is you've got South Lake Preppy Kid teaming up with Dallin Hyde. I mean... That's going to throw the little preppy kid off. It, absolutely. But it didn't throw him off enough because even though Richter butt punched the heck out of Tatum, somehow he still picked up the hey, win for his team. He did, and Hyde didn't, wasn't affected by the butt punch. I think he's the only person so far in MPX history that has taken the butt punch, and it did nothing. I don't... We'll I, see. I, I mean, that was Richter's kryptonite. We haven't seen that. Yeah, that's just... Somebody who can withstand the butt punch. Even Dave Sagan, who broke Richter's hand, wasn't able to withstand nope. it great and too much. And, I, and let's not gloss over that, though. I mean, like we said, Tatum beat Richter here. Mm -hmm. Tatum rolled him up. One, two, three. I mean... Oh, yeah. Are we seeing? Is one in a million getting a little stride? Is he going? Is he getting a little there? Is he getting a momentum? We could see that. I mean, it's like as long as he's just the making fun of Richter afterwards. That's not so great. I mean, he's kind of being a bully there. But you know, but a win's a win. A and win is a win. Like, like if it's me and I win, I'm gloating. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a sore winner. I kind of like sore winners, so I give that to Tatum. That I was okay with that. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I mean, but. Then we saw what had to be probably the match of the night in which we saw the MPX Addicts Championship put on the line as Ryan Remington took on the infamous Kenny Steele. I mean, and you said it right there, match of the night. And how many match of the nights Ryan Remington has here in this building in MPX? Extra we might as well start calling him Mr. Match of the Night. Because come on, tomorrow, something wicked. Shane Strickland versus Ryan Remington, right mm -hmm. there calling it match of the night. If Mr. It, match of the night, Ryan Remington. If it's not match of the night tomorrow night, I don't know what will be but, because just and like you said didn't know his opponent was attic champion longest reigning attic champion longest reigning champion in mpx all together that is true and he went out there didn't know his opponent was and took him out he beat kenny still he took him down i mean and we saw it kenny thought he won jamie called it jamie saw it we all saw now, it you saw it too now ryan's foot was on the road i gotta say i gotta wonder would Jamie have done the same if the situation was reversed? No doubt. He, yes, he would have. I don't know. I, I, so, but he, Jamie is a fair man. Y'all keep saying Jamie's biased. Jamie does this for his boys. Jamie does that. Jamie so does himself. that. Nah, no. What he does is he is fair. He's fair to the fans. He's fair to the wrestlers. That was an injustice. Jamie righted it. All is right with the MPX world. Whatever you say. But either way, uh, in the end, Ryan was able to pick up the win after the match was restarted. And, well, congratulations to him. He fought hard. And hey, and can you still degree, slouch? To a degree, I'll say he deserved the win. But then we have the uh, main event of the night, the final of the blind date matchups in which... And let's be honest, I mean, before we get to it, we'll give a little spoiler here. Probably the best matchup, best pairing. Oh, yeah. I mean, no doubt, but let's go ahead. Absolutely. Go ahead. We'll get into we it. We got Nova Phoenix and Dexter Hardaway. Hey, and like we said, Dallin's a big dude. No, Phoenix is a big girl. Uh-huh. She's got size and she can move. I was I was Absolutely. impressed by her. And oh, no. Dex is not my exactly ears a big hurt. Guy. My ears hurt a little bit from her. Mm -hmm. And then also heard from Dexter never shutting up. But I mean that pairing itself was pretty good, but that's not the pairing I was talking about. Oh, yeah. No, the good, the good pairing. pairing was Lizzie Thorne came out and she was teamed up with none other than the MPX prospect champion, Dave Sagan. Hell the solution Tim Sagan. And that was a great pairing. Let me that, tell you, they worked together. 
perfect pairing. Probably the best pairing of the night. Those two together. And like I said, though, Nova and Dexter, good pairing as well. Mm -hmm. This match overall, actually, had the two best pairings randomly put together. You got Lizzie and Dave on one side, and you got Nova and Dexter on the other. Two of the best great pairings. But as we saw, Lizzie and Dave, the better pairing, pulled it out together. And unfortunately, that didn't sit too well with Nova as after the match, nope. she, uh, well... I she would, flattened her partner. I would never want to anger that woman. Oh, and no. Dexter, no, no, no. Dexter failed her. She has got to be Dexter the angriest got. woman to come to MPX in a long, long and time. And Dexter got what he, you know, what he deserved. He failed. He failed her. He did. I mean, did. and I mean, it's going up against Dave and Lizzie, that's hard in itself. But mm -hmm. if you got Nova as your partner, you're not going to want to fail her. I think maybe Dexter should try it a little harder. Maybe. I oh, mean, yeah. that's hard to tell. But definitely, like we said, blind dates. Fun match, mm -hmm. fun night. Great if, night. If you were never here on Friday nights, the thing is about Friday nights, and we'll give a little brief history here, is these are pop culture fun shows. These don't necessarily count in the, if we're going to use a nerd term, the canon of Saturday nights here. Basically, these are just fun shows. They're fun wrestling. Friday nights, I think a lot of people sleep on them, and they don't need to. Oh, and, no. I mean, if you weren't here tonight and you're watching this, there's a free seven-day trial for the MPX Network. Go ahead and sign up for it, and then it's only $9.99 after that. Catch up on these Friday shows. They are fun. And while we're going ahead and we're talking about it here, tomorrow, Saturday, oh, something, yes. something wicked. wicked. Shane oh. Strickland versus Mr. Match of the Night. That is my new nickname for him because it's I, always going to be there. I'm with that. Ryan I'm Remington. With that. And you know what? The King of Swerve is going to have a really hard time with this one. He I is. Mean, I mean, he's... that's the thing, though. We've, we've seen Shane Strickland here in MPX before, and he fought mm -hmm. Matthew. He fought Palmer. He, and at that time, Palmer's the champ. Mm -hmm. That match right there in itself was one of the candidates for match of the year. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it was one of the last shows of the year. It barely snuck in. I mean, I hate to say it. I think Ryan's going to top that match. I think Ryan and Shane are going to top that. And I know you that's so? hard. I, I mean, I know that's high praise, but I really it believe it. Show stealer here, so this could be a really, you know, that's a yeah. high bar. It is, here. but like oh. I said, Mister Match of the Night, Ryan Remington can do it. But also, not only do we have that match to look forward to, tag titles on the line, a greatest it. tag team alive. Schaefer and Kirby versus Malico, and he's bringing one of his misled family members with him. Dakil. Dakil. I mean, I've seen the guy. I haven't seen him wrestle. I've seen him stand outside guarding, I I've guess, seen Malico. Him destroy. I mean, this guy, like we were saying, there's a bunch of big dudes here tonight. Oh, yeah. This guy towers over, I think, everyone. I oh, mean, yeah. most people who know our big security guy, Fitz, here, he towers over Fitz, and Fitz is a big dude. That's hard to do. It is. I mean, but Saturday, it's going to be a great show. Like oh, always, yeah. MPX runs this town, that runs this city, runs this state, runs this nation. Well, you know, I'm sure there are those who would actually disagree with you, but either way, this is the place to be first Friday night of the month, every Saturday night, come to MPX. And of course, I am, as always, your hashtag certified mark. This is the guy from the other side, Kyle Smith. Check us out on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, and check us out on Facebook. And of course, you know, you could always toss a little cash our way on Patreon. Thanks a lot. Keep it kayfabe wrestling fans. Mark out.